Hey everyone, Jen here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make mocktails that you can easily make at home in your blender. Let's get started with the tropical strawberry. This mocktail, we're gonna build everything inside the blender cup so it's way less mess. We'll be using five ounces of the strawberry colada. When you're making a blender mocktail or anything in your blender, you wanna make sure that all the liquids are at the bottom and the solids are on top. This is gonna make sure that it's smoother and it's gonna save the life of your blender. All right, we're gonna take a couple of fresh pineapple slices here. I'm just gonna eyeball this. I'm also gonna be using some fresh strawberries. Now, if you can't have fresh strawberries at this time because it's, they're seasonal, you can go ahead and get frozen ones. They're gonna be just as good. I'm going to dump about two cups of ice into our blender cup. Blend it till smooth. Okay. So, for something really fun, we're gonna be serving our tropical smoothie right inside a pineapple rind. So I just went ahead and I emptied out this pineapple rind with a spoon, really easy. We have a little yay straw to go on top, of course and a tropical umbrella, make it festive. There you have it, tropical strawberry. Next up is a grasshopper mocktail. Again, we're gonna build everything inside our blender cup. We're gonna start with ice cream. This is vanilla ice cream. I just eyeballed this. It's about two to three scoops. A little splash of heavy cream. And I'm gonna be using some mint syrup. It is loaded with spearmint, and it's gonna save you a lot of time from muddling mint. And a little bit of food coloring. Now, food coloring goes a long way, so maybe a drop or two. Blend until smooth. Okay. Right into the martini cup. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna put a little mint garnish on there. Lay it on top. Grasshopper mocktail. I really hope you enjoyed my blended mocktails. See you next time. <laughs>